Now is the time to create your own simple animations and learn basics of computer programming the fun way using Scratch. Scratch is developed by Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, Cambridge, USA. Scratch is a visual tool or programming language that can be used to create interactive animations, games and demos. Children can learn programming the fun and exciting way using Scratch. This chapter covers basics of Scratch through stepwise Scratch programs. Another name for Scratch program is Script. Launching Scratch. Click on Start button and select Scratch option. Scratch project window. Menu bar. Play and stop animation controls. Sprite Manipulation Options Sprites Palette Stage New Sprite Options Blocks Palette Editing Palette Stage shows the position and placing of sprites in your animation. It also shows the output of the animation created by you. Sprites Palette lists all the sprites added by you in your animation. Sprites are various objects that together make your animation. Blocks palette contains all the building blocks of your animation. It has following tabs. Scripts tab. This tab lists various script blocks arranged in different categories. Costumes tab. This tab provides options to add and edit costumes for the sprites. Sounds tab. This tab provides options to add and edit sounds for our animation. Backdrops tab. This tab provides options to add and edit various backdrops to the stage. This tab is visible when we click on stage backdrop in the sprites palette. Adding sprites. Above the sprites palette, click on sprites from library icon. Sprites library will be displayed where sprites are organized in various categories. Double click on the desired sprite to add it to the stage. Moving a sprite. Go to scripts tab of blocks palette. Click on events category. Event blocks will be listed. Drag block to editing palette. Click on motion category. Drag block and place it as shown in the figure. To run the animation, click on this above the stage. What did you notice? The sprite moved 10 steps forward. Adding sprite dialogues. Open Scratch and add this block to the editor. Go to Looks category in Scripts tab and add Think for block. Set its text as What a fine day as shown here and duration 2 seconds. Go to Control category and add Wait block as shown here. Set its duration to 2 seconds. Go to Looks category and add Say For block. Set its text as Welcome as shown here in duration 2 seconds. Run the animation. Changing Sprite's Costume Add the Witch Sprite from the Sprite Library. In Blocks Palette, go to Costumes tab. Costume Editor will open up. The Editing Toolbar provides basic drawing and coloring tools to change the appearance of the sprite. You can also flip the sprite up, down and sideways using flipping tools. Costume Library Clicking on Choose Costume from Library option, a costume library opens up that lists a collection of costumes for various characters to choose from. For example, in underwater category, Sprite Shark has three expressions. Changing Stage Backdrop 
In Sprite's palette, click on Stage 1 Backdrop. Notice that Backdrops tab has appeared in the Blocks palette. Click on Backdrops tab. The Stage Backdrop editor opens up. Click on Fill with Color option from the toolbar. Select the color from the color palette. Click on the stage in the editor. Backdrop Library Clicking on Choose Backdrop from Library option, a backdrop library opens up that lists a collection of backdrops organized in various categories. Double click on the desired backdrop. Adding sounds from Sound Library In the Blocks palette, click on Sounds tab. Sound editor will open up. Click on Choose Sound from Library option. A sound library opens up that lists a collection of sounds organized in various categories. Double click on the desired sound. Editing sound. Desired part of sound sequence can be selected, cut, copy and paste it to design a different sound sequence. Sound effects. Certain simple sound effects can be added from the effects drop-down list. For example, the sound can be played in reverse order using reverse effect. Drawing with pen. This script shown here sets the pen color and draws a square when space bar is pressed. Explanation. After setting the pen color and doing pen down, Sprite is pointed in rightward direction, point in direction 90 and move 100 steps. This will draw a line across 100 steps. In consecutive blocks, Sprite is pointed downward 180, then move 100 steps, leftward minus 90 and move 100 steps and finally upward 0 and moved 100 steps to complete the square. Try this script and observe the output. Event Handling An event is an action occurring at any point of time, before, after or during animation. For example, user clicks on stage, a key is pressed on the keyboard when green flag play animation button is clicked etc. Scratch lets us decide what to do when a particular event occurs. For example, if a sprite is moving and user clicks anywhere on the stage, we can decide to stop the animation or let the sprite do something. The basic approach towards event handling is to identify the logical sequence of actions to be performed when a particular event should occur and attaching the set of blocks of such actions with a suitable event block. Let us try this out. Add Sprite Ammon from People category in Sprite's library. Using tool at the top of the stage, decrease Ammon's size. Place Ammon at bottom right corner of the stage as shown here. From Scripts tab, Events category add when this sprite clicked block to your script. From Script tab, go to Motion category. Add Glide to block with the values of seconds X and Y as shown here. From Scripts tab, go to Events category. Add when space key is pressed block to your script. Far on the keyboard, the sprite Ammon would stop moving. This way, Ammon would move on mouse click on it. From Transport category in Sprite Library, add Airplane Sprite to the stage. Click on Shrink tool on the toolbar above the stage. Click on the Airplane Sprite a few times to shrink it to a smaller size. Go to the Scripts tab in Blocks palette and add the following blocks from Events and Motion category as shown here. To run the animation, click on Above the Stage. Explanation The Glide block has two settings. 
duration in seconds and destination to glide the sprite to in terms of x y coordinates the center of the stage is at x is 0 and y is 0 moving from left to right increases coordinate x and moving upwards increases coordinate y we have already kept the airplane at top left that is extreme negative x coordinate and positive y coordinate x is equal to 100 y is equal to minus 100 is down at bottom right diagonally opposite to initial position of the plane we have set the gliding time to one second this glides the airplane slowly from top left corner of the stage down to bottom right corner that looks like airplane is landing exercise arrow keys moving a ball around following script captures the key press events of right left up and down arrow keys to move a ball sprite explanation the basic fundamental in moving the ball around is to change its direction for each arrow key press and then moving it a few steps in the corresponding direction this is achieved by point in direction block from motion category this block turns the sprite in following four directions 0 upward 180 downward 90 towards right side minus 90 towards left side reverse of 90 these four directions have been mapped to right left up and down arrow keys respectively and then sprite ball is moved 10 steps